Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Women simply don't see most men. Women don't see most men in stuff. Yeah, they, they simply don't see them. And you know, there's always been invisible men. Men who don't stand out. Now, a key part of game a key part of a man getting a woman, he needs, she needs to see him. See, and you know, I'm not gonna blame the women for it. A lot of guys get mad at the women, but just by their nature, on a biological nature, they only looking for certain men to reproduce with. And it's a combination of factors. The main one is DNA. The DNA, what's in their biology, who they looking for. Then you throw in the imprint, then you throw in like their preferences. They only gonna see certain men, no matter what. And it goes beyond like physical appearance. That plays a part. Like, yeah, if they if the dude got a handsome face and nice body, that definitely plays a part. But also, what about his social class? What about his uh, you know, his, his social class, his uh status? And when I say status, uh, you know, is he a professional, is he a blue collar worker, something of that nature? It's a lot of factors. And, you know, understand something. See, a man, we can look at all women because on a biological basis, well, we can impregnate a whole bunch of women. If something, something crazy happened to the world and you only had a thousand women left and five men, oh, shoot, all those women can get pregnant. But if you had five women and a thousand men, uh, most of the men are going to be out of it. I want y'all to think about, just really think about what I just said. Because a woman can only have so many babies. She can only have so many babies. And she gotta carry one for nine months. And then another month where she really can't have sex or even wanna have sex anyway. So she, she, can, only, uh, she can only have so many children, no matter who she is, no matter how healthy she is. And that's a pure biological thing, whereas a man, phew, Oh, we could, theoretically, we could, we could have sex every day, impregnate a woman every day for the rest of our lives and stuff. And even then, that would still be a drop in the bucket. But still, we can do that. See, so because of that biological nature, then you throw in the culture, everything like that. Women only focus on a small group of men. Now, typically, people, people say, well, it's the Chaz and Tyrones or Select or the 20% Alphas. Okay, yeah. It is what it is. That's why if you look at my program, I'm telling you how to become select and become the best and then figure out which women actually see you. But they don't. They ignore most men because they gonna. They only want they want to have sex. Of course, they want to be in a relationship. They 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 want to be uh, have a companion, but only with certain men. Now, this is the reality. You have a large group of men, not all men, of course, but a large group of men. And somebody could argue, say, oh, yeah, that's the 80%. Okay. Or the non-select. Okay. You know, we'll, we'll just go with that for argument's sake. It ain't, it ain't that extreme as far as the numbers, but it's still, they don't see most men. So a lot of men are walking around invisible. Now, one of the reasons I talk about like fixing yourself up, I, even though I've always talked about body game, that's one way to stand out. Because a lot of men, especially if you put on some muscle, you'll stand out more. That's just one way. That's a way I promote. That's just my style. But then somebody else might say, well, you know, you need to fix your hair. Yeah, yeah definitely. Now, if your face, I'm gonna be real with you, unless you're in that 1%, of 1%, you know, everybody has an average face, so you're not gonna stand out that way. Now height, yeah, you'll stand out that way. Let's just be real, let's just be real. Yeah, if I, uh, I've constantly talked about guys of shorter stature getting women, but they probably had, they even they had to have something else to stand out, stand out, and not just physically, and I'll get more into what they might have used. Now, um, if you have someone who for whatever reason doesn't stand out well, 
like I said, 1% or 1% going to have a face like that. And then height, you know, you're always going to stand down. Only 14% of men on the planet are over six feet. So if you're taller, yeah, they're going to look. But then you can add other stuff to that, such as how you dress. Like that was an old school game in the streets. You'll fit. It still is, really. If you look at some of these uh, modern to this day, what the young people are doing on these smash, and pa smash or pass videos, if you, uh, you look at them, what the women say, the girls say, the young girls say, they say, oh, I like your fit. So that's always been a part of the game, having something that uh, makes you stand out. And let's just be real, in the black community, I'm gonna say specifically in the black community, even though I'm generally, I talk about all communities, a lot of brothers be having those locks or maybe that shaved head and beard just to stand out. You gotta have something about you to stand out. And that's just a physical thing. Another thing is how you carry yourself, how you walk, how's your posture, that stands out. Because the reality is most, most guys are gonna be invisible. When they having trouble, when the guys, there's something invisible about them. Primarily, uh, primarily physical, let's just be real, but also how they, how they carry themselves, how they walk, are they walking with confidence and everything. Because even when you're talking about a man meets a woman, like, okay, like a lot of guys talking about online, online, okay, you really gotta stand out there. You really gotta stand out there. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Women just looking at your picture, you gotta stand out. But like say you um, wanna meet women in the streets or at a social event, remember when they going in there, they only focusing on certain men. You gotta have something to stand out. Otherwise you're invisible. And I've said this before, you can go to an event and it's a hundred men there. And if, and if all the women there, they, if they told their girlfriends afterwards, They'll say, oh, yeah, there were 10 men there because they just don't see it. That's just their nature. And like I said, I'm going to emphasize that part. That's just their nature. That's just their nature. Some stuff, I don't care. You can have long videos. You can curse at them. You can complain about them. You, you can't fight God. <laughs> you can't fight just their biological nature. Only thing you can do is be that person both biologically and culturally that they're gonna check out. And let me get into that cultural thing, cause you know, if we talk about the, uh, the physicality, that's more biological, but cultural, depends on what class you in, you know? Like tats, people talking about tats, that's more cultural. That's, more, that's a cultural thing. And you never know, that could always change. Or if you in a certain social class, like say you in more of the upper classes, you need to look like that otherwise you know that's what the woman's looking for if she's looking for more someone more upper class upper middle class to even a rich class she's looking for somebody who look like they are part of that you have to look like that or if you're more in the streets something like that okay you gotta have that look that's the important thing because it's just a reality so many men are invisible and getting mad at the women is, is not gonna do anything. They can't fight their own nature. They can't fight that. They can try, and I give it to some women, they'll try, but it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. And I've talked to many women. Many, there's some women out there, and a lot of women, shoot, who basically female incels, but if you really talk to them, they just don't spot the men. And I'll tell them, yeah, there's some men around. I, yeah, technically but by their nature, they don't see them. So if you're trying to, you do have to stand out. You do have to like pop, you do need a presence. Otherwise you're gonna have a lot of trouble, all right? So I want y'all to think about that. That's one of the things with body game, because a lot of guys, only a small percentage, at least in this country and probably across the world, uh, the overwhelming majority of men don't hit the gym. And then you get a greater number, they not doing any like physical labor to keep them in shape. So the more you like put on muscle or something, that helps. And if you bless with height, okay, even then, okay, you get a little bit, but then you might still need to put on some muscle. You still need to like, you know, let the barber bless you and still need to dress well. But that's just the reality. 
all right? Because I tell you the real. So you don't want to be an invisible man, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. Well, I keep saying, I, I'll say that, then I have a car video. That's it for this video. I'll talk to y'all. Peace.